Okay, for the next part of this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at changing some of the settings in the PrestaShop back office in the performance tab, and I'm going to show you relatively how they compare against each other. We're not, uh, this isn't some hard and fast result that we're going to get. Um, it's just a relative comparison between having combined compress and cache on versus having it off, so you can see that there are some differences. And uh, I'll show you how to play around with that a little bit. I'm definitely not an expert in using PageSpeed, and I know there are other tools like PageSpeed that if you want to use those, that's fine too. It really doesn't matter what you use. So to use PageSpeed, if you've got a Chrome browser, it's pretty easy. You just get the Chrome extension here, and the uh, URL you want to go to is code.google.com forward slash speed forward slash paid page hyphen speed. Um, and then if you happen to be a Mozilla Firefox user like I am, you need to be sure that you have Firebug installed because PageSpeed actually works inside of Firebug. Uh, if you don't have Firebug installed, you can just do a Google search for it and find it and install it and then install PageSpeed. Okay, so to get PageSpeed installed, just go down uh, the page here a little ways, go to PageSpeed Downloads and download the version that you need. Here's the Chrome version, here's the uh, PageSpeed version for Firefox. Like for instance, if I click on this, you'll see that I get a little error message here. I just need to allow that and then it's going to attempt to install the script. So I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed, but go ahead and install yours and then come back when you're done. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, go back to the back office and let's take a look at a few of our settings here first. Okay, so let's just start with Smarty and combine compress and cache first. We're just going to work with that and that's really all we need to do to do this quick demonstration to show the relative performance uh, changes with having some of these settings the way they are. So I'm going to go to my front office and uh, because I'm using Mozilla, I'm going to use Firebug. I'll open that up. I'm just going to dock my Firebug. Okay, um, right now you can see it's already on the active tab here called Page Speed. But with uh, if you're not familiar with Firebug, it'll probably wind up over here. And after you install Page Speed, you'll get this extra tab called Page Speed. So just be sure that you do have Page Speed activated. And uh, it's pretty simple, just click the Analyze Performance button, and it's going to bring up a score. It says PageSpeed score 91 out of 100. Now, keep that in mind, where you, we've got 91 out of 100 with the current settings in our back office. So let's go to the back office. And right now you can see that we have Force Compile set to No, which is the fastest setting, Cache set to Yes, which is the fastest setting, and uh, we have enabled Combine, Compress, and Cache for CSS, JavaScript. We've minimi minified the HTML, and we're compressing inline JavaScript in the HTML. Um, I'm not going to bother with some of these other settings, and I'm going to erase this because that was just for a test. So let's get rid of that so nobody gets confused. We are not using media servers, so we're not going to get any performance benefit from that. Um, I am using the... Rentendal with the MyCrypt library using that cipher, and uh, I'm not using cache of any kind. Okay, so we already know that with these settings, we've got a 91 out of 100. So let's just change a couple settings here. I'm just going to change force compile to yes, and I'm going to click save, and I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because once you get the idea, I want you to test this on your own. Okay, so that worked. Now you need to reload the page. and then do a refresh analysis and you can see it dropped to an 88 to 100. So that appears to have had an effect. Now I have had times where um, it just seems to change by a point or two for no good reason. I don't know why, but it uh, it's this is not a super accurate method. It's just a relative method. Okay, so let's change our caching to no, which should slow it down even more. Save that. But just because it might slow it down doesn't mean it does. Um, go ahead and reload the page again. 
or it doesn't mean it slows it down so much that you would notice. Refresh analysis is still at 88 at 100. Okay, now this is something that I noticed because I tested this before I recorded this. Uh, the combined compressing cache seems to make a very big difference. So I'm just going to do three changes here, four changes, and I'm going to click Save. Now let's go to the front office, reload, and refresh the analysis. And there we drop to 80, which it was 88 before. So, you know, you can go through the rest of the settings here and play around. I just wanted to demonstrate that, yes, these actually do something. They do uh, make it faster. And, um, you know, if you get the media servers hooked up and you're able to uh, use memcached, probably could be even faster than the original 91 that we got when we first looked at the, at the, at the, um, page speed analysis. So that's all I wanted to show you. Just it's fun to kind of experiment with that and it definitely does make a difference. So you might want to play around with the settings a little bit if you have a need to. Otherwise you can just take my word for it. But um, that's that's all there is for this tutorial. So once again if you have anything that you can add to this to help us understand the media servers a bit better and also to understand the memcached and file systems, uh, that would be awesome. And I would redo this video if I could get some good feedback that uh, I could validate works, and then we'll just redo the video and put a new one up. So hope everybody enjoyed what I did, uh, did actually get through. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.